Now that I got coffee, now it's time for me to tell you why your logo sucks. Mama, if you're baby, good baby, good baby, good baby, good I don't know where you've been, but it's 2018 and everybody's an entrepreneur. The main thing that a lot of people miss whenever they're creating these brands and like they are starting all these companies, a lot of times they miss the boat whenever it comes to actually creating a great logo or brand. Help! Help! Majority of your logos suck. And here are the main reasons why they suck. Number one, a lot of the times the logos aren't original they usually go and find like some random template that they found online and they tweak this and tweak that and change it a little bit usually they just change the name on it and use it as their logo where you go wrong with that is that you lose the originality of you actually creating a name for yourself now in the scenario of actually like basically copying somebody's idea whenever it comes to a brand or a logo just to get started is bad because your first impression is everything that's like a set of identical twins getting mad whenever they walk into a bar and they have on the same outfit with different name tags that's a very easy way for the bartender to get their names mixed up come on like seriously like tommy and timmy if their names are almost the same yeah i'm getting them mixed up bro i'm sorry you look alike your names are identical hey Hammer. we don't even have to do that that's right we can do that ourselves I'm 6'5", 220, and there's two of me. Number two on my list of things that actually make your logo suck. You got your cousin or your aunt or uncle or best friend to design your logo because they thought that they were a designer. If you're the one that's starting the company, you shouldn't go out and actually just like find some Joe Schmo off the street that's never actually designed anything professionally a day in his life and actually, and give them the creative rights to actually create the face of your company. That's like having some hobo off the street come in and name your baby. Oh, I'd love to help you, man, but I ain't seen nothing since I stepped on that landmine in Vietcom back in 72. You want to make sure that you hire someone that actually has some expertise in the area of creating some kind of a brand for you, right? Right. All that in a nutshell, you want to try your best to actually make sure that your logo is designed by someone that actually knows what they're doing, okay? Now, the third reason is that your logo is way too busy. Like this thing that's on my wall back here, I designed that thing with a bunch of different images, meaning that that can't be used as a logo. There are some people out there, um, uh, not pointing fingers, that will use things that are like mural-esque, like Michelangelo's Sistine Chapel, like that busy. So you can't create an image that is as robust as a painting or a full-fledged infographic and use it as your logo. Whenever it's scaled down, you'll lose details that are in the logo. So you wanna make sure that it is kept as simple as possible. So if you own a coffee shop, don't have a graphic designer come in and design a logo that looks exactly like your coffee shop. It'll be a great, graphic that you can use for infographics or to use it as like a spot on your website but it won't be great for brand identity it will be way too busy you'll lose detail don't do that keep it simple now this is probably one of the ones that i hate the most and it's when you're trying to make your company name which is extremely long be the logo now you don't have to use your entire name in the logo. Condense it down, make it super simple and short and sweet. 
whether that be by condensing the company name down to one name or actually create an acronym that makes sense for the company. Or you could even adopt a mascot or some form of symbol that encompasses the message that you want to get across to your buyer. If your company name is super long, find a way to shorten it, keep it condensed or create an acronym or just adopt a symbol or a mascot to create the image of your logo from those two things. It will make your life a whole lot easier. Now, with that being said, it leads me to my very last one. And that's that images that are captured with this thing or come out of an iPad or a magazine for that matter can't be used as a logo. Stop it. There is no way possible that you can use a photograph. Stop doing it. So if your logo is currently a photograph of yourself, of a family member, or a clip out of a magazine, or something that encompasses someone's hands and your company name over the top of it, get rid of it right now. That's part of the reason why you probably aren't getting any hits, any leads, because no one's taking you serious. Stop it. And another thing, clip art can't be your logo. Clip arts are usually owned by a company like Getty Images, Shutterstock, uh, Flat Icon, or maybe even Microsoft. Those companies create those images to be, again, infographics. So you can't really use them for your logo. It just doesn't work that way. So I hope that I didn't offend anyone in any way, shape, form, or fashion, whatever it came to actually saying that your logo sucked. Because it, it probably did. But by now, by the end of this video, you actually should see and know and understand that I'm doing it because it was for your own good. Now, just take away from this that one, you should try to make sure that your logo is as original as possible. Two, find a professional to design the logo for you, whether it be on Fiverr, just find some designer that's going to actually design the logo from their professional standpoint, not just someone that has Photoshop on their computer. Then you want to make sure that it's not copywritten. Make sure that it's not an image. Make sure that it's not a photograph that is going to be your logo. Keep the logo simple. Make sure that you don't try to squeeze the entire company's name inside of the brand. It does not work. Adopting a company mascot or symbol by condensing the name or creating an acronym. Keep it simple. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this little video, man. It was uh, very difficult to put together. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you got something out of it. And if you have any more questions about branding, uh, creating graphics or photography video, make sure that you leave those comments in the comment section. I'll be sure to answer them as fast as I can. And as always, have a great and fantastic day. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys later.